Hi all! This video is part of my new Udemy course on Corona 9 in 3ds Max. If you click on the link in this video description, you can get the course for only 9.99 for the next two days. So please hurry up! In this part, we will describe how we can set up the natural lighting in our scenes using a Corona Sun. Open the file naturallighting.max. In this 3ds Max scene, there is one camera placed as described in the previous part cameras. If we press Shift and Q on the keyboard to produce a render, we will get a black image. This happens because at this point there are no lighting sources in the scene. In order to produce a render, we need to have at least one light source in our scene. To create a Corona Sun, go to the Chaos Corona toolbar and click on the Create Corona Sun button. Alternatively, go to the Command Panel, click on the Create tab, then choose Lights. Click on the Photometric drop-down list and select Corona. Then click on Corona Sun. Go to the top viewport, right-click to place the sun, hold down and drag the mouse and where you leave it, the sun target is placed. Then, drag the mouse upwards and click to set the height of the sun. With the Corona Sun selected, go to the Modify tab to see its parameters. Click on the Add Corona Sky Environment button. Corona Sky works together with Corona Sun and they simulate real-life lighting. So by changing the position of the sun, the sky also changes. Let's see that in action. Enable the Select and Move command by pressing W on your keyboard. Go to the front viewport. Select the sun. Click on the Y axis, the green arrow, and drag it higher at approximately 1000 cm. When moving an object, we can check the coordinate display area in the status bar or type there directly the desired value. Since we now have a light source in the scene, we can produce a render. Press Shift Q on your keyboard or click on the Render Production button. Now we can see the interior. As we mentioned at the beginning of this part, Corona simulates how sun works in real life, which means that the higher we place the sun, the stronger the light will be and the whiter, while the lower the sun, the softer and warmer the light will be. Let's apply all these in our exercise. Let's save this render in history. Enable the Select and Move command, select the Corona Sun, Go to the Z field at the coordinates of the status bar and type 250 centimeters. Press Shift and Q to produce a render. What we see is that apart from the shadows that change direction, the sun got warmer and the shadows got softer. Let's save it in history and compare it with the previous render. Apart from simulating real-life conditions, we can adjust the Corona Sun as we seem fit. What do I mean by that? Let's say that we like the direction of the shadows in this last render, but we don't want to have a warm sunlight but a wider one. What can we do in this case? Select the Corona Sun and go to the Modify tab to see its settings. Go to the Color section and instead of Realistic, select Direct Input and set the color to white or light yellow. If we now produce a render, the sunlight gets white, while the direction of the shadows remains the same. If we want to increase the intensity of the sunlight, go to the intensity and increase the value, let's say to 3. My advice is to keep the intensity 1 and if you want to control the strength of the sunlight, to use the light mix tab 
in the frame buffer window. If we want the shadows to blend more and not to be defined, we can go to the size and increase the value. The default value is 1, let's try 7 and render. Now you see how smooth they are and how well they blend, they are not sharp anymore. What I usually like to do in my renders is to add a tree outside my windows so that the leaves cast shadows, creating a more appealing result. To do so, we will open the Cosmos browser, go to the vegetation and to trees. I will randomly choose this one, download it and then drag it in the front viewport. It is rather big, so I will push it lower. Although we placed the tree, we see no difference on the shadows. This happens because the size of the sun is rather high at 7, making the shadows spread. If we take the size back to 1 and render, now we can see the leaves. And if we try a size of 0.5, Now they are even more defined. Depending on the tree style you will choose, how dense the leaves will be and their shape, you can achieve different results. The render is rather dark, so I will play with the exposure to brighten it up. I will also change the contrast to 2 and enable the bloom and glare effect. As we said in the previous part, I will also enable the sharpening, making the sharpen amount 2 and the blur radius 0 0.5. I like the result now. That's all on how to set up the natural lighting of a scene using the Corona Sun and now we will move on to the artificial lighting.